I first came to Guatemala in 1993 as a tourist on vacation, and I was blown away by what I saw. On one hand, the beauty of the people, the color of their culture, seeing people working together and sharing together. Yet on the other hand, I was deeply moved by the poverty which I saw, seeing people living without basic necessities, seeing villages with open sores. And I felt in some way that I wanted to respond to that, to help these people in some way. So I began by asking myself some very simple questions. Is, is there anything that can be done here? Is there something that I can do that may have some sort of lasting effect? And in the end I concluded, after seeing the people, working with them, understanding their situation, that if we really want to help make Guatemala a better place in 10 years or 20 years, we have to invest in education. So I decided to found a project whose mission it was to provide textbooks to marginalized schools. With textbooks in the classroom, the situation becomes dramatically different. You can refer to diagrams and pictures, you can let students practice their reading skills, and you can give them meaningful homework. I found that a difference could be made, and it could be made with textbooks. We begin with books. We consider that the most fundamental thing. Um, as a second round to that then, once they've done a great job with the book program, that we'll come in and we'll offer them an opportunity to receive a computer lab. Kids that, that have never seen a computer before, um, never touched one, um, to see them using a mouse for the first time, they go all over the screen with it. Just three days later, um, not only had they mastered the, uh, the motor skills to use the mouse, but they were also using uh, the Microsoft Paint uh, program and they were drawing pictures on the computer. They will continue to study and they'll become professionals and they will be able to give back to their communities um, and become truly self-sufficient. Our goal is to increase throughout the whole country the number of kids that continue their education to 7th, 8th, ninth, and 10th grade. Studies show that if kids get a 10th grade education, they'll earn 20% more their entire lives, which is taking them two or three notches up the top.